Well, welcome back to the Vintage Tech. Today I've got something a little different for you. I came into the ham shack this morning to uh, and fired everything up on 75 meters and was going to talk on 75 meters. And I turned on the Ameritron AL811 amplifier and it popped. It uh, flashed, the meters flashed and it went out. So I went around behind uh, the bench here and replaced one of the fuses that was popped. Tried it again, it popped it again. So something inside the Ameritron AL811 is uh, troublesome. So let's go ahead and pull this amp off of the bench, off of the bench here and put it up on the workbench over there. And let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, Google, turn on the bench. That's the fuse that blew, and it blows to smithereens. And uh, it's just 12 amp fuses. And uh, interestingly enough, this is a ten amp. This one's still good. And it's a 15 amp. <laughs> okay. So why don't we put some 12 amp fuses in this thing? I'm sure it's going to pop, but um, I'm wondering why. I guess I, I wasn't paying attention to to, I think I saw this 8 amp down here, 240 volt. So let's put a 12 amp in there. Well, I've got a 15 amp. That's uh, pretty good. Fifteen amp. Fifteen amp. Okay. Two fifteen amps in there. Probably gonna need those again in just a second. And turn this baby around. I'm gonna plug it into the watt meter. Oh, there we go. Powered right up. I 
high voltage run about one point eight kilovolts huh maybe I have a short antenna huh shorted antenna so firing right up and running And I loaned my uh, antenna analyzer to a buddy, so I can't put my analyzer on the antenna. But I have an antenna here that I know is good. Right here. I was using on the AM radio that we were working on, if you remember the farm radio just using the center conductor for the AM portion. So I've got two 15 amp fuses. And it's drawing uh, 147 watts sitting here on standby. And that's 1.3 amps, 120 volts, 143 watts. Fan is running. So my little eight watt fuse wasn't quite enough to carry the freight on a spark on a spike. Um, so I will replace these fuses to 12 amp. Now, I don't have any 12 amp here, I don't think. Uh, no, it goes from 10 to 15 amp. So um, I'll order some 12 amp just to be absolutely sure that nothing is going to get overloaded. But for testing purposes, 15 amp is carrying it. So maybe we had a short in the uh, antenna tuner, which is a possibility. Or it could have been just that I put a small enough, too small a fuse in there initially and I don't I threw that old fuse away and maybe it was just a bad maybe it was a low lower rated fuse because it does say 8 amp here for 240 volts or 12 amps for 120 volts I'll bet you I'll bet you anything I put a uh, lower amperage fuse in there one time or another but all right so what we're going to do is hook this back up and um and see if we can get it to uh to work this morning on 75 or 80 meters The antenna tuner.
let's get over here to uh, Okay, there's full power. And there's 400, almost 500 watts right there. 600 watts. about uh, get this rig current down here. Okay, we're running about 600, 500 watts, full bore. Plate current, plate current is just a little over 150 milliamps. We don't wanna go that hot, but it's running and everything's working fine. Um, we're pushing about 500 watts, so I think it's okay. I'm maxing out my uh, my little uh, 20 amp power supply over here. So let's see if we can get anybody to respond. Get right on 3610. With the right microphone. CQ, 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 CQ uh, 80 meters. This is N4 KRO, November 4 Kilo Romeo Oscar calling CQ. CQ, 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 80 meters, November 4, Kilo, Romeo, Oscar, Winston, Salem, North Carolina, calling CQ, 80 meters. Yeah, we're, uh, we're pulling a full 500 watts out onto the, uh, the, uh, Z Sierra 6 dipole. It's too early in the day, really, for, uh, or too late in the day for 75 meters. But this is an example of having a fuse, um, um, underrated fuse in an amplifier and I put um, I had an underrated fuse in there apparently an 8, eight amp fuse and it's supposed to be a 12 amp fuse and I replaced it with a 10 amp fuse and it didn't hold it it couldn't carry it on the startup so I need a slow blow I think that's what they're called for but in any case I'll double check the manual to see what uh, the Ameritron manual calls for it doesn't say on the back of the set there but probably would stand to have a couple of 12 uh, amp slow blow fuses and uh, but I won't put slow blow in unless that's what it calls for but in any case uh, that was a pretty simple repair 
at least that's what I think, uh, that it is just a repair. Um, you know, there could be something loose in the amp that was shorted, but I really think that's what happened, that I had an underrated fuse in the, the set. So that's a good lesson and, uh, and something to be aware of when you're, uh, when you got your uh, equipment running here. Thanks again for watching the Vintage Tech. November 4, Kilo, Romeo, Oscar. Kilo, Ace Hotel, United. Ace Hotel, United. November 4, Kilo, Romeo, Oscar, 5-9 into Winston-Salem, North Carolina, QSL. QSL, November 4, Kilo, Romeo, Oscar, 5-9 into the Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Roger, roger. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the call. Okay, got in. Amp is working good. Tuned up nicely on 40 meters, so I think we're good to go on the amplifier.